I don't want you either to be able to send your drone over our Why not? premises because there are premises. But, but do you it, know, I, I appreciate what you've got, something you'd like to do here, but it's not something I feel we can support you in can today. You well, do, I, do you think I need your support? No, that's no offence. I do think you need your support to us to film our premises, yes. So, Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Chet Wode House, Samworth Brothers. <laughs> Well, in Melton Mowbray. So another massive site. Very well kept, look. Let's go and have a little look around. See what we can see. So we've got two gatehouses. That one over there says Melton Foods. And that one over there says Kettleby. So we'll do the nearest first. We'll have a look uh, what happens at Melton Foods. Let's see. I wonder why they have this uh, extra layer of fencing just there like that. It's unusual, isn't it? And it just says we supply premium tier products to some of the major UK retailers and food to go outlets. So I'm thinking sandwiches in this place. Let's move over to Kettleby over there. Melton Foods, where we've just been, Chet Road House. That must be the headquarters for Sandworth Brothers. That big. Uh, building over there and then Kettleby Foods pointing down here welcome to Kettleby Foods and it's got a nice chef's hat there look another logo in the distance there some forklifts moving around right in the distance at the back are you right sorry he just shouted hello for some reason i don't know why yeah we went to samworth brothers distribution before where all these uh, vehicles go to to have their orders picked and packed for all the stores I place their orders but this is where they make the goods and then they'll transport them to the distribution center afterwards but you'll notice that Samworth Brothers color beige color transport vehicle there I don't need any help mate what's wrong with that nothing wrong with that just ignore me. You're not making no sense. Well, it's just like saying, don't eat your sandwiches on that, that grass. Bit silly, isn't it? Yeah, just ignore me then. If, you know, if you've seen me before, best thing is, is just to ignore me. Call the police. What are you talking about? He's seen me before, but he's still going down the road of uh, being silly like this. Oh, there's another... Um... Oh, he's just turned around. I thought that was going to be another vehicle going down that road. What's he saying? He's going to call the police. Oh, dear. Why do people have to go down this road, eh? He's on the phone to the police, and I wouldn't normally come this close to him and film him like this, but there's no need for it. Especially how he's just said, I've seen you before. I know what you're doing. So I'm sorry, my friend, but your behavior is way over the top. And that's just a little bit silly. So we've just noticed that two people are coming over. No, it's okay. Like I said to the guy, I'm staying outside in all the public areas. Yes. Just doing some video in. Okay. Just about to take the, the drone over. Okay, can we ask you that you don't put a drone over? We haven't spoken to you. I'm sorry. Can we ask who you are? I've just covered my, my face just to hide my identity. Okay. <laughs> so what it is, right? A member of the public 
um, can stay here. Are you in, filming me? Because you've come over. I'm, I'm here today to film the place and how professional people behave. Security's sort of let, let it down so far, to be honest. Well, I think that what we're doing is we're protecting our You're okay. and our people. Yeah, so What's the threat? Asked, What's the threat? Well, we're just protecting. We don't know what the threat is because you're covering your face and you're not, you're not conversing that, with that's us. That's me, yet. look. That's me. Okay. But Thanks. do you know when he, he got his phone out to try and take a photo of me and put it on his social media or whatever? But, um, and what are you going to do with the information you're filming now? Put it on my channel. I'm okay, so you're doing the same to us? But, but I'm out in public. I'm in the town centre, let's just say, and you've, you've come up to me, okay. we're, gone in front of my camera like this to say, don't put me on your film! But I'm stood out in the public now and I don't, I don't wish to be filmed. All my business yeah. is to be filmed. So. I can't come into your offices, can I? No, you can't. That's and where I, you're safe. I don't want you either to be able to send your drone over our Why not? premises because there are premises. But, but do you know, I, I appreciate what you've got, something you'd like to do here, but it's not something I feel we can support you in can today. You do, I, do you think I need your support? No, that's no offence. I do think you need your support to ask to film our premises, yes. So do you know when like a helicopter or a hot air balloon goes yeah, over? they're not filming. They they're are? Not fi okay. They're not filming in order to, to advertise. So I, I, yeah, I really, I'm very sorry, but I would like to ask you if you wouldn't mind. Your name, please? My, my name is Nicola, Nicola Williams. Uh, your position? I'm the site director here. Site so director. It's been lovely to meet you and have this conversation. Nicola? Yes. Um, unfortunately, when you've got private property, you can restrict people from walking on, yeah, like you have done with a gatehouse, but you can't stop people flying over because you don't control you don't control okay. the, the airspace. So would you mind giving me a name so I can no, talk? No, that's what you? I mean. I've just covered. You can call me DJ. DJ. Okay. And when you see DJ, the video, nice to meet you. It's when you see the video, nice to meet you, DJ. Would you afford me the time to just check what you're telling me that I I have to allow you to fly a drone over my premises? Yeah, Google it. Just say um. So you're. You'll allow me that opportunity now. You got a phone on you? No, I haven't. You're going to have to let me. You got me. a phone on you? No, we haven't. Yeah. Sorry, we just came you, out. Yeah, I'll actually... Google it for you. Yeah. No, no, I'm just going to pop into our security hut. Is that okay? Can I ask Thanks the, the reason? What, what's the, yes, the very good reason. Um, two weeks ago, I made a little visit to Samworth Brothers Distribution on um, Scudamore Road in Leicester. Okay. Right? Everybody loved it because Samworth Brothers, I thought was only a Leicestershire thing, right? But my content goes nationwide so people could relate to it oh i've seen them around it's great to see their distribution center and hear the gentleman that came out it was another director actually who came out there have you seen that video no, I um do you, do you want to see his face I, what i would love to do is for you to give me just five minutes so i can pop in and let me just show you one thing nicola uh da, 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 da. There he is. 74,000 views. Do you know that gentleman there? Oh, sorry. I have got my glasses. Yeah, yeah, there he is. There he is. Yes. Yeah, it was great. Okay, so you're just going to give us five minutes. Would you mind keeping your drone here for me? That would be much appreciated. You know I don't have to, right? But I will. You're very kind. Thank, Thank you. you. So, yeah, similar um, position as the last guy at uh, the Enderby site, but a totally different approach. But they do believe that they can stop you taking a drone over their private property. And they are so obsessed with getting your name. So, I mean, it's a general rule with this videoing game about you don't reveal your name. But when they're so polite like that, there you go. My name's DJ. I don't mind saying that. It's not my name, is it? And when they do see the video, they'll realise why I gave the name DJ. So she's now then going to consult with the security who so far has let Kettleby Foods <laughs> down by saying you can't film. Now this path here as you can see links up to this pedestrian crossing here which links up to the path at the road there look. So it's publicly accessible all day long we've probably even got a bus stop over there although it's not got a bus stop sign oh yeah it's got a bus stop sign on the lamppost look. And as we know, we've got access to a train track or some sort of field down there. So it's not exclusively theirs, this access road. It's got council signs on the roundabout there, look. Yeah, they might maintain all this grass area. Yeah, yeah, nice of them, really good. But when it comes to the path, sorry, you've got no jurisdiction. 
so the ladies are coming back To film our premises, you're quite right. You're on a public, sorry, you're no, on a sorry. public highway. That's what you'd like to. What I would like to do, just because we have an awful lot of people here on site and a lot of movements, I'm just going to sit behind you and you do it and make sure. Please be aware of our people movements and that. You yeah. keep up high. You're not going to distract them and put them in any danger. That's fine. That's fine. You can do what you like. Uh, do you know when you do a drone video, you don't really want to be going over people because you want to see a shot from the side and the building. So you're not, I, I mean, no, I don't. I'm not. Yeah, a uh, user, you can. But I shall sit and watch you. you. You can imagine, right? You know, if you had a drone over someone's head looking down, it's not interesting, is it? But if you had it going around the building and just getting a full scale so of the place. How low are you going to go? Well, well, I've got to go higher than the trees. Yeah. Else no, you're going to hit the trees. Oh, no, no, no. That's, no. What, that's what, um, I forgot his name. I've got his name on the video. He presented himself very well, well to be it's honest. Not what, it's not, I know they're getting more popular, but it's not what our team see every day, especially not on site. If we were to do filming, then we would always let all of our teams know yeah, yeah. that there was a drone being, you know, used over site and what times it would be. So, yeah. because we haven't but, got the opportunity to do that today, if you don't mind, we'll just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's strange how this, the civil aviation have made these rules where anybody can fly a drone over private property. Obviously, there's a lot of people that are not sure about the rules and they, they don't like it. Some people have got stuff to hide. I know you probably haven't. But when a video of a previous Sandworth Brothers uh, department has gone down so well, I just thought, let's do another. So are you visiting us all? Is that Chetwood House? Is that the headquarters of the whole Sandworth Brothers? We've got, um, we do have a, a head office here, yeah. Yeah. I'll get that while I'm up in the air. I'll get so we've got the head office, Chetwood House, and you are nationwide, aren't you? We, yeah, we are a, a food manufacturer that is based. Yeah, Melton Foods is that doing sandwiches? You know a lot. Are you reading our websites? There's a lot um, about us on. If you look up Sandwich Brothers, you'll yeah. read a lot about the business. Sorry, but I've got do, do you know somebody who actually works for them? Like that guy there. He told me it, it comes in all in the same pallets uh, through one door. They take it apart. They give. They pack. They've got all lists of orders for the stores. They put them on another pallet, shrink wrap it, and it goes to the stores. So in we what we manufacture, we, we're food manufacturers. Yeah, so but what down comes at... in gets converted to what we send out. I'm on about the distribution centre. Oh, the they, they, yeah. they take it in all the same and they send it out all picked for the stores that, that they're going to. But you actually make the product we here, don't you? We're actually the manufacturers. So Melton Foods make one product and Kettleby Foods make a different, different product. product. Yeah. So yeah. Just, just come on, is it sandwiches that side? And what's this side then? We make meals, we're part of meals. Ready meals. So sandwiches, ready meals. That's Brilliant, it. that's it. Brilliant. So, right, yeah, I'll carry on. You don't want to tell me anything else, do you? Well, if you find it's a little bit strange because you, you have kind of run an out, you're not telling us your name, you've given us a little bit of information, which I'm grateful. Yeah. So, yeah, and as I say, normally these sort of arrangements are something we pre book and we're, we're but, very welcome to have customers and visitors come and share our information, and there's lots and lots about us on our website. Do, do you get the feel like I'm just showing a genuine interest though? I'm not sure. You've been, you're not sure. You've been a little bit unnerved with the whole dark look and you've covered your face. So you've do, put us a little bit on ease. Do you know, am I going to see any solar panels on the roof? No. No. I've thought... Why, are they dangerous to your drone? No, no, no. <laughs> we like to see solar panels because companies that are using solar panels are looking after the environment. Oh, and looking I, I'm not going to start talking no, no, to no, you about no. the general environment. We have given you permission. No. So it'd be lovely now. You, you want to rush me along, I, but I'm I, trying to get, I'm making the most of having a, a director in front of me. Well, as I said, there's plenty of opportunity for you to phone in at any time yeah. and we can have as many conversations as possible, but it's one that we would like to do pre-booked rather than, as you say, ad hoc right now. So yeah, please carry on with the fly. That'd be absolutely lovely. Yeah, we'll do. And now, we'll enjoy the sun here. Thank you. I, I will do. One last thing, right? Do you know the previous director, he mentioned all new company cars are going to be electric. That's Sandworth Brothers company car policy now. Um, you have got quite a we, few. We do have electric, yeah. Yeah, the, anybody that wants a new company car from this day onwards, they won't be able to have anything other than electric. But I noticed there isn't many electric cars at that's, the minute. It's very thoughtful of you and something that we obviously will be able to take care of. No, 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 it's, that's not an insult. I'm just saying um, it will be really, it's, it, everybody's moving towards um, looking after the planet right big companies like your, yourself i just didn't know whether you're leading the way now the the fact that new company cars must be electric that was great to hear yeah, it is great. but the lack of solar panels and the lack of anybody using the car charging isn't backing up the theory is it so it's like so i say more 
Well, don't be something then. Any time you <laughs> want to make contact and have you got my name now, you've got several people's names, more than happy to get you an opportunity so we can sit and chat about an agenda you'd like to, but I'm not I just want to be able to give you any more time today, but please, as we said, I do understand you are able to buy your own. I just want to make sure we do it safely. Yeah. Now, and it has been normally, to be you, normally we don't get the I privilege of a director. We don't get a privilege of a director out here. So you've got all the as knowledge you, that I you, want. As you will understand, somebody that's seen and is not expected is going to always raise an alert, a security alert, as we would want okay, to. Okay, very last and question then. I'm here and that's why I've come out to meet Very last question and it's not, it's not nothing intrusive. Do you drive an electric vehicle? No, I don't. Okay, okay. I'll change cameras now. I'll turn this one off. And you're going to go onto your drone. I'll go onto your drone. I'll put that one off. We'll get the drone out. These ladies have been fantastic. They haven't got all day, so we're not going to take the mic. I'm still talking, so I'm narrating the whole video, you see. It's the, my experience here today, and the only thing bad so far, we weren't really that bad, but he said he's going to call the police. I don't like people saying that, I'm going to call the police. Police should, time should not be wasted on a photographer just showing an interest in a nice company. He's trying to protect our site. Okay. Yeah, there's ways. It, and is he SIA licensed? Do you know? Are you? Do you want to just... Because if he is, he needs to be on display. And if he doesn't have it on display, that is actually a criminal offence. I'm sorry you took offence to his reaction. Yeah. I don't like people saying I'm going like to call the police. It's not something they're also used to, so... Yeah, he shouldn't say that. People waste police time too much. They, don't, they do come, actually, quite a lot while I'm outside just filming. Because people have got so paranoid in there. I feel that's slightly understandable. I think. It's not a gun, is it? It's only a camera. Well, you've got a bag. Would you like somebody to film you without your permission? No, what do you mind? You, do you know what you do? Yeah, but we don't wear the face mask and sunglasses here. I know, but do you know if somebody's filming and you think, right, I don't really, really want to be on their film, yeah. you just create some privacy. Well, how does he know that Let's you will? <laughs> I was over there look, pointing okay. the camera that way. Let's do this. We'll even look over your shoulder so we can see what it's all about. It's a lot. What you do. I learned something as well. We'll take it up, we'll have a quick look to see if there's any overhead cables and there's not. We pan the camera down to here so we can see where we started. So all the viewers can see there. That's where we had a little chat with the gatehouse guy. We're at 30 meters. And we can clearly see now we're way above the trees at 50 meters there, look. So we'll pan in. The ladies are just behind my shoulder having a good look. So down here, we've got those electric charging points that we noticed, but uh, not being used, look. So it's great to see the company is uh, providing those. And I do believe they are free of charge. Now, if I worked here and I know I could charge my vehicle up whilst I work free of charge, then I would certainly be making use of that. So we've got the Sandworth Brothers distribution trailers there that you all recognize from the last video. They do uh, operate their own transport in full, and I doubt they outsource much of that at all. But you've got so many vehicles, haven't you? And they're all very well kept as well, to be honest. There is a new fuel method out there, biomethane, which some transport companies are starting to use, which will save you money on your fuel. And it's very good for the environment as well. So we, uh, we hope to see those being used in the future. We've got some skip areas over here and as you know on all the videos we like to zoom into those skips to see what they're they're getting rid of so there's a skip and what we got there just like looks like some sort of uh, waste product can't really tell what it is but they are compacting stuff got lots of air conditioning And they're right next to that train line, which we've seen quite a lot of on the last video. We noticed that there was a, a test track nearby here. So I'm not sure whether it's the test track. Let's just have a look to... Wow, it goes for miles, that does, doesn't it? So as we make our way around, we've got loads of silos there for their ingredients. <laughs> couple of forklifts down there and we've got some guys that are handling some containers some plastic 
containers, which we also presume is for ingredients. As they told us, they make ready meals, so lots of ingredients required. Maybe like a, a long um, assembly line sort of production line. Be great to see inside. Well, so if I come back um, on an arranged visit, you'll show me inside, won't you? If you come back on an arranged visit, we can see it. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so that's a nice front, to be honest, isn't it? That's all it. That's all hidden from public view. Where's that? Is that over there? It's face, facing the wrong way. That should be facing this way. That's gorgeous, yeah. But your grounds, you know, I've already commented about your grounds. The gardener's doing an amazing job around here. I mean, look, it's even got lines on the, the grass lot. So do give them a little pay rise, won't you? So now we'll just uh, pan over to Chetwood House. Um, the director here has already mentioned that is the head office, but that's where they'll do the accounts and stuff like that. But each individual um, building, I think Bradgate Bakery does their own accounts and then, but you've got some guys in here that oversee it all, I think they like audit the place, make sure everyone's doing the right thing to the right standard. And then that's Melton Foods at the back there. Looks like a little bit of an older building. They've even got some temporary structures there, look. Some porter cabins. Obviously needed to expand, didn't they? Down there. So we'll just do one final perimeter tour of this Melton Foods, and then we'll let the ladies get back to their work. Not everybody expects to waste all this time in a day. Somebody like me turns up. They've got a big construction site. I notice you've got an access road down there. So that's where it is, is it? So that's a separate business using this roundabout to access their site. And you're not going to tell me what they do, are you? It's not. That's you as well down there. Oh, you're extending? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So you, uh, you own all this land and you've got to. The, You've got the ability to expand when planning allows. But yeah, there's a nice uh, telehandler there moving stuff around. So is that an expansion of Melton or Kettle Bear? Well, Kettle Bear is that, is that, yeah, that side of Melton. Melton, yeah. You really don't want to tell me anything, do you? No, I, I respect your, um, you're trying to keep intellectual property to yourself, maybe. So yeah. I feel like I'm wasting the ladies' time now. They have been quite polite with me, so I'm going to bring the drone back. Let's just see what that bit of... Uh... I did when I was over there. I'm going to wait this time. Lots of pallets. You won't get a lamp this side. Lots of covered up pallets there. So yeah, let's head back. Bring David down. He has got a name. His name's yeah. His name's David. So one of this, uh, the viewers has named him. So what's your channel called? Uh, do you know how I mentioned DJ? Mm. Um, and do you know what the word? We mentioned the word audit already, haven't we? We audit the accounts. Yeah. So it's called DJ audits. So I've just come and done an audit. <laughs> All these modern terms, eh? So yeah, there they are. There's the ladies. Just down there. I'll zoom in. So look. It's better than watching Coronation Street, they just said. <laughs> so we'll bring it down. And we're down. So we had a good look round. Thank you so much for um, being nice to me. It won't go back up now, and I won't be coming into any of the restricted areas. So if, if you do want to return that. back to Thank work, you. then. Well, like I say, you've got my name on film now. Yep. <laughs> so you're not going to forget it. Are you all switched off? No. Wait, you want to say? What do you want to say? No, just, no, I'm just really interested because I've never seen a drone. Um, I use the, the voice from the recording here. 
on the back of the drone footage. And I don't want to just be out in the public showing I know nothing about drones. <laughs> well, no, you, know you know more. Do. You know more now than most people because you've seen it. And you see how the zoom's really good as well. Are you, is this you parked up? No, that's nothing to do with me. My car's nowhere in sight. In fact, my bike is just around here. Okay, so. we'll just go safe as you leave our Thank you, thank you, that's amazing. Won't you? Thank you for your time. Thank yeah, you. what an unusual day, eh? Uh, <laughs> like you say, not one you normally have. Yeah. Do you know, when you watch yourself back, you'll also watch the previous one back. Can you compare? So there they go, back to work. You know, they just wanted to check whether it's uh, lawful for me to take a drone over and they came back with the right uh, answer so I can't fault that at all Kettleby Foods a part of Samworth Brothers yeah quite high standards of behaviour in my opinion so they're just saying their uh, goodbyes to security now telling them that we're we're a good guy we're no threat and yeah I'm going to leave that one there so if you have enjoyed that video Give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye bye for now.